Hey YouTubers, Mike Martins here, Mike Martins channel. So I got a a little bit of a complaint on one of my YouTube videos. And it was the O Canada video I put up at the rodeo with them singing O Canada. They're singing O Canada. It's not a recording. It's not some grand shiny brass band singing it. It's someone freestyling it. And these people own the song. And I think what YouTube's gonna do to start shutting down channels they don't like. They're actually gonna they're gonna actually create something where you you have you know your video O Canada at the Rodeo 2018 may have content that is owned or licensed by all these not all these abbreviations, but it's still available on YouTube in some cases. Ads may appear next to it. You're still making money from this vi uh, video. Click here to change monetization monetize settings. This claim is is not penalizing your account status. Visit cr copyright notices for more details about your video. So we go here. Uh, it goes back to that video, the other one I was there. So, what is going on, people? I made this video. I like it very much because it's, you know, um, oh. I'm not going to play it now because it's going to be flagged. But what's going on, guys? Why is this happening? And there's, uh, and there's a couple of haters in, out there that hate Canada so much. They, what is it, thumbed it down. There it is there, includes copyrighted material. Canada haters out there uh, thumbing down the national anthem of Canada. But I just wanted to throw this out there. What do you guys think about this? Could they be, could, 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 could YouTube a year, two, three, four, even, heck, even ten years from now, use that as ammunition to shut down channels for little things like, you know, or, oh, by the way, you said something five years ago, and now it's against, um... It's against our, uh, it's against the rules now. It's became law last month. So this video's flagged and your channel's gone. So how does that work? Do you get some, um, a time differentiation when something was said? You know, um, you know what I'm trying to say? Like if they were supposed to, like, let's say, let's say back in the thirties when, when cocaine was legal, right? When it's legally used and it was prescribed or it was like legal. Uh, if you made if you made a movie back before 1930 and people are using cocaine in there, but today's in today's standards, they're not doing it. But still, th do the movies back in the 30s get flagged or shut down for that kind of use? Kind of like where artists' music are considered inappropriate in today's uh, very um, feeling sensitive world we live in. You know what I'm trying to say? So does a movie back from the 1930s or you know what I'm saying? get flagged or shut down for the use of uh, uh, narcotics but that are illegal in the 60s and 70s. But you get what I'm saying with this, right? So how does that work? I want to know what you guys think. Like, So would they use this am as ammunition to shut me down from behind and say, well, there should be a statute of limitations of when it was said later on. I'm, I'm trying to get a – you know what I'm trying to convey out there. So let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Thanks for watching.